How's it going guys? My name is Dallas Hickey Inverness and welcome back to another video. It has been quite a while since you've seen my face in this channel. If you're brand new to this channel then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about but I'm gonna say it anyways real quickly. Yeah I have been gone for around two weeks so maybe it wasn't that long. If you're new to this channel then you um then welcome. This is great. Um so some of you might know that while I was gone, uh, one of my videos did pretty well, getting a thousand subscribers in four days. Yeah, that video broke a world record because literally no one's done anything like that. So I decided to set an Instagram world record of the same thing. I managed to get over 15,000 followers in pretty close to only 10 hours. It was actually nine hours and 50 something minutes. The reason I wanna break this record is because some other people have tried in the past one person in particular tried it, but basically all he did was just pay a bunch of people to, you know, shout him out on their big pages, so I don't understand how that is supposed to count. Like, I mean, I'm growing naturally from zero to 15,000 in 10 hours, so let's get straight into it starting now. Alright, so I'm going to be doing this a bit differently than I did in the last video. Um, because what I'm going to be doing is narrating over the entire process of me doing it rather than just like talking as I'm doing it because I felt like uh, it was a little bit like, you know, less quality when I was doing it that way. I don't know. Just, I feel like I want to do it this way this time. So the entire process took around nine hours and 50 something minutes. And I started from the beginning of the day, literally at around like nine o'clock in the morning. I wake up at around 8.30. First thing that I did was I created an Instagram account. Pretty self-explanatory, right? I know, I mean, I'm just such a genius for figuring out the first step. And basically what I did was I signed up and I made a meme page because I have nothing else that I feel like posting. I mean, really the only thing that I'm interested in in terms of like Instagram is just looking at funny memes. <laughs> My life is really, really fun. And of course, what's an Instagram account if you don't have a decent profile picture? Am I right, guys? Topped on uh, that imager.com. Got some uh, stock footage of Spongebob, just popped it on there and you're good to go. The fun thing about Instagram is you don't have to spend like an entire hour just making like art for the thing, you know, I mean just like YouTube was kind of a pain just having to be in Photoshop for an entire hour. Figuring out what's going to make people want to uh, subscribe, so that's not an issue. So this was the beginning of the first hour and the first hour was probably the easiest hour because it involves literally the least amount of like studying, analyzing, and trying to actually promote the content because in the first hour, I just had to find the content. Before I even did that, I of course had to do something that lots of people despise when it comes to like tutorials on how to grow on Instagram. It's like the most known but yet most scummy tip you could ever give someone. Basically what it is is, you know, the following tip where you basically start an Instagram account, you just follow a bunch of famous people and then a bunch of people will start following you for no reason and then you follow a bunch of their followers and they'll get even more followers from that and overall that got me to over 200 followers in the first hour and I was just like, okay. What the heck? I mean, <laughs> what if YouTube was that easy, man? I mean, my, my job would be freaking amazing like that. After that, I hopped on iFunny and I searched for some of the juiciest, dankest, amazing some of them are pretty cringy, but you know, I searched for some of the best ones that I can find, some of the best funny pictures, and I found a couple, and I used actually around like three of the ones that I already had in my portfolio, and um, I tr just re-uploaded them on, on this new account, so. <laughs> Don't judge me for the name I chose, okay? Now, we come to step two. This was at the end of the first hour, and coming into the second and third hour. This is known as SEO, search engine optimization. And you may be thinking, what are you talking about? That doesn't work on Instagram. Well, you're wrong. It does, do you know why? Because Instagram, just like every single other thing you could think of, Facebook, MySpace, I just said MySpace, Google+, YouTube, all of them have SEO. Literally every single one. Because, how are you supposed to find things? And you know, that's the way you know, the media is distributed. You follow people, but how do you follow people? You find them. And for Instagram, there's a special thing called the, you know, the main page, the media finder. I don't even know what the name of it is, but you just, you hop into the explore tab. Maybe that's what it's called, just the explore tab. And you see a bunch of random stuff. How do you think that is, like, how do you think you're seeing that? You, that's not just universal. Not every single person on the thing is seeing that. It's because of your past history and the, what you've looked up in the past. And basically Instagram just assumes what you're interested in as a whole, 
And that is how you can take advantage of the algorithm. Now I have used some special Instagram techniques in the past in my Instagram tutorial videos. I decided to integ integrate them into this account and see how well they did for, you know, as a brand new 100% clean account. You have to use two, ideally two, separate but, you know, distinct tags that are similar to the, or they kind of describe the content that you're making. So for in my case, mine were just simply memes and iFunny. It's really that generic and that simple. And I uploaded the first nine pictures. Now I'm gonna be completely transparent about this video and I'm gonna leave all the websites that I use down below in the description that's helped me grow my Instagram account, 15,000 followers in 10 hours. And one of those websites is called Sprout Social. Now basically what Sprout Social does is it gives you a handful of tags for you to be putting in all of your um, photos, descriptions, and stuff. And the reason that it's useful is because you give them a little bit of information about what your photo's about, and then they will give you the most helpful amount of tags that will get your, will be more, most likely in promoting your, uh, your stuff, your content, to uh, a wider range of people. And I used this technique, and it definitely did help, because like I said, my photos went from getting around 80 to 150 likes, just within the span of like eight to seven, or seven to eight photos that I posted, so really quickly. Now one thing that is crucial to your growth on Instagram is really simple. Commenting and liking on people's photos. That's what I did in the, in the first couple hours of starting this thing. Basically, I went and to all of the couple hundred people that I followed, and I liked every single one of their picture, and I commented on some of the ones that I thought was necessary. And basically, when I commented, I didn't like self-promote myself, of course. I didn't say, come check out my, uh, my stuff, and you'll be awaited with a bunch of cringy memes or anything like that. Um, I basically just commented saying, you know, nice photo, but not really that, because that's just too generic, but I came up with something random. Um, on every single person's photo and what that did was it got people who were looking through the comments to come see because believe it or not people actually do pay attention to those who like and comment on pictures and if you're not familiar you know if you if you have enough followers then you will actually show up on some people's pictures if you've liked them it will show like liked by this person or liked by that person now obviously you're not going to show up on like you know Kim Kardashian's picture if you only have like a hundred followers or something and at the time I had around 350 followers so I only showed up on some of the smaller ones that were only getting a couple thousand likes but still that was getting a lot of attraction within four hours actually on four hours on the dot I was sitting at 500 followers how am I gonna go from 500 to 15k in six hours I had no idea seriously at this point I literally thought damn dude this isn't gonna work like, I'm not gonna do this like this is this is not gonna work bro but holy crap it did and I'm gonna show you how now during this time like I said we were working on building a new setup a new studio which uh, we still are to this day um, and we're still working on it by the time that you watch this video it'll probably be finished but who knows what I had to do was this was about five six hours into the actual experiment I had to work on something for the setup because there's three people working on it and I come back and just grab this camera. Dude, what the heck? Are you seeing this? What the actual hell? Dude, I'm tripping or something. Are you freaking kidding me? What the heck? It's... Dude. We're at 3,000 followers. What? What? We are sitting at 3,000 followers. Yeah. One of the pictures got 900 likes how one thing that i will admit that i did which will be a little bit considered cheating i guess it could somehow be in some alternate universe cheating but basically i went on my other account which has already 50,000 followers and for a day i put my link in the bio instead of my youtube channel link and i put my uh, thing in the story my actual account and i said to go follow it of course but that's not really cheating because, you know, it's not like that's going to be getting me to 15,000 instantly or anything like that. And it turns out, after a while, Quicksilver, like the actual account Quicksilver, liked one of my photos, literally. And I'm not sure if that is something that attracted a little bit more attention, but after that, within the next, like, 30 minutes, 
we gained over 5,000 followers. Now, what I ended up doing was going on socialbluebook.com and I made my account. I registered for the Instagram account there. Now, basically what that does is it makes your account look more official and it definitely will like promote it to different brands. So if brands see your account, they might wanna partner with you or do a brand deal or something. So it gave me a higher chance of being shouted out that way or at the very least getting paid money with the newfound followers that I was getting. So clearly the promotion was coming from there too. If you check some of the followers, lots of them are coming from all kinds of different places. Like lots of them are from like different meme pages. Lots of them are coming from Quicksilver. Lots of them are from iFunny kind of people things. And lots of them are just random because you know, they saw me following, you know, other people and liking other people's photos and commenting and such. So, I mean, that definitely did make a quite a big difference. It worked. It worked. I really hope people won't start to unfollow now that I'm not going to be posting on that account anymore. And lots of people from my old video about growing to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube in four days, which is, by the way, a world record. I challenge some of you to try to beat me in that. You know, if you could do that, then you'll have my eternity of respect. Uh, but I don't think you can. No offense. So, just saying. Some of you down there were telling me that I should do some sort of a giveaway for that channel because you know might as well I'm not gonna be using it anymore and I thought that was a good idea so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give a giveaway of this Instagram account to to some random lucky person for 100% free of course um, and you guys could just go ahead and enter it and then I'll give it to one of you 15,000 free followers for, for you it'll give you a good head start on your meme page I mean it really depends on what kind of content you, you're looking to upload but I don't know if, if, if you're interested in that kind of stuff Someone needs to hand me a world record plaque. I need that right now. Put my name in that book, Genesis Books of World Records. I'm not kidding you. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing games, man. I deserve a place in that book. Yes, I do. Come on, I'm waiting. Any minute now. So yeah, the account will not be deleted at all. It'll be down in the description. And yeah, everything's gonna be fun and dandy. And it worked. We did it. So thanks so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, uh, these kind of videos will be coming out on my channel every single day. I am back from the break, so some of you guys might not know, but I have a schedule of one video every single three days. So one video posted, so one day post a video, two uh, se second day no video, third day no video, and then post a video again. So two days in between each video, once every single three days. So that's the schedule from now on. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be nice and back to normal. So thank you so much for watching all the way through and. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.